I'm Wasted Firebird. We're in Clunes for the 45th anniversary of Mad Max. I'm Wasted Firebird. We are in Clunes, Victoria, for the 45th anniversary of Mad Max. I was here five years ago for the 40th anniversary, and I have a little bit of a scandal to admit. I may have seen some vehicles when I first came to Australia in 2019 at the 40th anniversary. I may have seen some vehicles that I, I didn't know what they were, and so I sincerely apologize to the Wasteland Firebird Show fan community. I'm just going to show some shots of some vehicles that I may have seen five years ago. I can't be blamed. I did not know what they were. I'm sorry. I, I sincerely apologize. And while we're talking about scandals, there's another scandal. We recently got a fact incorrect. A man named James told us that Delara designed the Lamborghini Miura when it was actually designed by a man named Gandini. They went and had a look at the archives. They found Giugiaro's drawings and Delara finished the car. And he, he also sincerely apologized to the channel, but he has been punished since. He's not allowed to watch the channel. He's not allowed to subscribe to the channel. You will not see him on the channel. He will not be commenting on the channel. He's been banned from this channel because he got that fact wrong. Don't trust good storytellers, okay? You never know what they're trying to make you believe. Holden Commodore Vacationer. I love that Vacationer logo. It's got cassette tape sitting in the front. Oh, Midnight Oil, of course. I approve, Australia. Dale Bench, actual stuntman from Mad Max. Ford F-250 Custom, big lights and big horns, big gas tank. There's a bunch of dead bodies in the car. This may be from Wolf Creek or a tribute to a vehicle from Wolf Creek, which I, I have not seen, but I will make a point to do that. When I first saw Mad Max and they were driving these cars around, I just thought that they were some sort of American car and they had just put some different body on it to make it look like it was from some weird future. I didn't realize that Australia had a whole parallel universe of cars. Oh, I like the colors on this one. The real bronze. And look at this thing here, though, too. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting excited. You're skipping over the, the old stuff in favor of the new stuff. I can't help it. Monaro GTS, Holden Malou, Black Fury Road. <laughs> Fury Road. Some of the cars are already here. To me, this was just Max's family station wagon. I didn't realize this was called a panel van, and this was Australia's idea of a 70s van. I thought he had a crazy mural on the side of his family station wagon. And the crazy colored top cars. I secretly like the yellow cars better than the black car. Reproduction of one of the Mad Max bikes, isn't it? Yep. How long have you owned this? Seven years. And you had it made to look like the bike from Mad Max. Yeah. And you store it in Australia, is that right? Uh, yes, the Australia. Seven, seven years. Yeah, and so you keep it here in Australia. Yeah. And then when you visit Australia, you ride it. Yeah. And normally you live in Japan. Yes, I have other, other old one. Oh, you have another one in Japan yep. that looks just like this. Uh, a little bit similar. <laughs> <laughs> 
同じぐらい彼と同じぐらいもうマッドマックスは大好きなので<笑>できればオーストラリアに住みたいですね。Nice. What's where's the original nowadays? So there are actually two bubble trikes now in existence. This is the replica. Yeah, I know the bongo van. You guys look great. Thank you. For decades, in my group of friends, I was like the only person who loved Mad Max. Come up a bit more. You are the super fan, so you should tell us what scenes were shot in Clunes. Well, we first see the main street of Clunes. Unlike this particular situation, which is wall to wall, everybody,、um, a very quiet. On the early morning street, and、um, the Vikings, the Toe Cutters gang, the Acolytes, roll up into the town and、uh, proceed to、uh, cause a little mischief, a little mayhem, a little bit of shenanigans. They head over to the railway station, do a couple of shots over there, which has been renovated, so it doesn't look like the old railway station. But it、anymore. is the actual it station. Is, it it looks a little、station. different. Imagine that you live in this quiet country town. And then one day, out of nowhere, a bunch of guys on bikes come in and they start abusing you and throwing people out of windows. It's a tough life in the country towns in Victoria. Oh bloody hell! Hanging on by the skin of your teeth, and someone just comes along and makes your day just that little bit worse. If only we'd had Max, the maximum force of the future, to <laughs> save us.、Uh, he was too busy on holiday. <laughs> But yeah, it's a working vacation, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. Take off a few weeks, huh? Kind of like、uh, when、uh, Dirty Harry goes on vacation.、Yeah. <laughs> Give me your star. There's a seven-point suppository, Captain. Kill a few people, take a vacation. <laughs> kill a few people while on vacation. Come back from vacation, kill a few more people. But amazingly enough, you know, it's really this little corner here hasn't changed. You know, it's it's, it's almost could have stepped right back into the old movie. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Like, why older buildings, older buildings were just built better, and it's because they thought the building was going to be there forever. And then it was only in the 20th century when we started having development that was happening so quickly that you build something temporarily, you tear it down 10 years later, put something else in its place. Well, it has aesthetic style. I mean, it, 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 it's pleasant to look at. Well, I'm glad they did build these older buildings better. I mean, we still have the, the Parthenon and the Colosseum and stuff like that. But I mean, who's going to remember anything from like the late 20th century when we just put some plywood up and then we tear it down 10 years later? You know? Yeah. I know you from Facebook. Yes. And we are both fans of similar movies. So what types of movies are we fans of? Sorcerer. Sorcerer, yep.、Yeah. But there's a genre of movies. Sorcerer is a good one. What's the genre of movies? I think we both like. Yeah. And anything from the '70s. What's that called? The new Hollywood. New Hollywood. And then there's the Ozploitation films. Ozploitation. I love those. I I have seen a fair number of Ozploitation movies, but I haven't seen them all. What are, what are some exploitation movies that I still need to see? I've seen Man from Hong Kong, of course Mad Max. I've seen Running on Empty. I've seen Dead and Drive, and I did not like that one. What else do I need to see? Have you seen Stone? Oh yes, of course I've seen Stone. Yes, have seen Stone. Oh, I haven't seen. I have. I will see Razorback. I have a copy of it, but I've not seen it yet. Oh, I've seen Wake and Fright. My favorite line from Wake and Fright: "Discontent is a luxury of the well-to-do." Discontent is a luxury of the well-to-do. It's a very timely line because <laughs> people sit around all day on their keyboards on Facebook complaining about the world. Keyboard warriors. Because they have the time and the luxury to be able to complain, when people are actually suffering in this world, they don't have time to complain. That's 
Yeah, it's like depressing, but it's really good. I mean, well, that's like every movie from the 70s, depressing but good. Well, you were here for the what, 25th? 21st um, commandment. 21st? Yeah. Okay. And it went out of hand. Okay. Up in uh, two. <laughs> out of hand? Yeah. Yeah, they closed the pub down. Well, that's what Coppers came out from Broken Hill, closed the whole thing down. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. We have Yuko from Japan. Oh, we have another visitor Hi, from Japan. Good to see you. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I loved it. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> when I saw the movie, it made me free. More Japanese woman watched that movie. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. You look amazing as usual. Thank you. <laughs> this is one of my favorite photographs of all time. The camera operator's behind him with no helmet because he can't operate the camera with a helmet on. And you can see the speedometer. It says how fast they're going, and he has no helmet on. That's back in the day when people cared about making movies. They were willing to take a risk to make a movie. Nowadays, it's all just on computers. They didn't have permission to make this movie. They just made this movie. That's how you make a movie. You don't ask for permission. You just ask for forgiveness later. You are humongous. Like, yeah. I've actually seen photos of you on the internet. You have muscles now. You've been working out. Yeah, I, I work out. Yeah. yeah, do you want to show us like a, like a bicep? Matt Skelly got a lot of signatures back in 2019, and unfortunately, a lot of these people are no longer with us. So have you seen all the cars? Not yet. All the cars? I'm bringing the full I've, seen, I've seen every car in Australia, by the way. So every I, single car? I've, yeah, I saw hey, the, the last car. Have you car. seen my uh, Kia Seltos? Oh, it's nice to see someone with decent height. height. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these tiny, tiny men. Oh, yes. Nathan Jones, Rictus Erectus. Yeah. I am Rictus. We are the sons of the Immortal Jones. Nice to meet you, sir. Tim Burns, Johnny the Boy, thank you so much for coming out to this no event. Worries. You make the fans so happy by being no here. No worries. And, and where and did you come from? I, well, we came from Sydney. Yeah, and yeah. this is where I am. And, and I saw you five years ago at this event, too. Like you, were always, you were always at these events. Thank you so much for coming I'll make out. make it. I'm getting here, yeah. See you later, Goose. It's been a pleasure. Oh, so many Maloos. Oh so many Maloos. So many Utes. This is what I thought Australia would be. Utes everywhere. Oh, look at this beautiful charger. Look at those seats. This Firebird was owned by Bertrand Cadard, who played Clunk in Mad Max. They're here to meet a friend. I'm in on the train. I've been coming on the train except a couple of crates and a... <laughs> Coffee? My friend? He played a dumb character, but he was actually a very, very smart man. I know, at my age and in, in my condition, I will never, ever in my life, uh, what left of it, uh, have an opportunity to have another trip like this. Life is very short in the scale of things. And so, bite on it, make every day, every hour, every minute as intense as can be. Last time I talked to you, I asked you, what's the secret of eternal youth? And you said to shave your head. Oh my God. And so God. I have shaved my head and I will be young forever, just like you. How do you manage to still look exactly the same 45 years later? Thank you for that. Thank you for that. It's the head. It's the lack of the head. What are you doing? Roger Wood told me that the secret to eternal youth was to shave my head. Oh, this sounds like a Mad Max MFP police van. Yeah, a van that uh, could have been in the, maybe a prequel or the first movie. That yeah, I love this. Seen, you, know? you stick the prisoners in the back. That's it.
size of that engine. It's like it came off of a ocean freighter. What you been working on lately? Well, the uh, trading cards are made just for this event. Special 45th anniversary trading cards. I've absolutely been flying off the table this weekend. So the movie Sting, it's a new Australian horror movie. Very cool, very cool. I've actually interviewed the director in this magazine. But we supplied, in that little picture there, comic book artwork in the movie. I'm still working on the third issue of Silver City. That'll, that will be out one day. So Silver City, the world's only Mad Max fan magazine. Issue one was really made just for the uh, for the fans, for everyone who went to the Silverton events. So basically it's just a, a photo album. So so the first one sold really well, so I decided to make a second issue as a proper magazine. You get some great articles and information, so it's basically a proper magazine now. And I'm working on the third issue. Bang. <laughs> cool toys. It's been signed by Emil Minty too. Liters, so you're saying these gallons, 30 gallons and 30 gallons. these actually have fuel in them? Yeah, they run on fat, yeah. So you could drive all the way across Australia in this thing. Well, no, it gets about three miles a gallon, so it's done right. How many bashes? Like uh, variety bashes we've done for 30,000 cases of variety bashes. Yeah. Our ruck rays jumping at speed and jumping over cliffs. And I was here like five, six years ago doing so, so this is just like stop. It's drive it like you stole it. I do, that's what it's for. That's what I want to show you. I want to come up and jump in and just drive it like I stole it. It looks like it's been through the apocalypse. It's, this is the real deal. I love all the hand painted everything. This has been the Mad Max 45th anniversary. I'm Wasteland Firebird. Thank you for inviting me into your home or onto your portable device. Have a good night. Thanks to Matt Skelly for the camera work. <laughs>